Hello again, and it's time for another project. Today we're going to have a go at a little butterfly. In fact, I'm going to make three of them. So, once you've made one, it's the same procedure through the whole lot. This is a piece of rough looking fence panelling wood. And what we're going to do is put our butterfly template on here. So it's only going to be five and a half inches by eight inches. Same procedure as always. There's our template we're going to cut out today. So you just place your carbon paper underneath. Make sure it's the right way around. Stick on your template like so. And basically just draw around it all with a pencil. Obviously once we've done that, you'll end up with something like this. And that's what we're going to cut out today with our router. The bits I'm going to use, as always, are these little things. I love these. Little CNC bits are called, if you go on Amazon or eBay. They come in a little package like that. There are different angles, 30 degrees, 60, and so on. I've mixed all mine up, so there you go. And to make it fit your router, your router, you require what they call a collet. And that's just a little sleeve like so. That slots over your smaller shaft of your CNC bit and that's now a quarter of an inch and that will fit nicely into your router. Right we're all good to go as you can see I've had a little bit of sanding on that just to make it easier for drawing on. Let's get the router set up and we'll start taking these middle sections out. Normally what I would do is colour in the bits that you want to take out because once you get carried away you can soon make a mistake. So these are all the bits we're going to take out, like so. Let's crack on and see what we can do today. Okay, we've gone all the way around with our CNC bit. We're basically just doing the all the outlines like so. And then what I'll do now is put on this 1 8 imperial straight bit and basically just remove all the middle sections of what we've just gone round with the CNC bit. And hopefully when we come to the edges, this should all pop out nicely without doing any damage to these thin lines in between. So we'll pop this on next. And clear out the winged area. Right, we've gone all the way around that with our bigger bit. We've cleared it all out. All I'm going to do now is cut this off here and then we'll get it on the scroll saw, cut it out and then we'll start tidying it up with the sanding, paper, dremel and whatever we've got handy. So we'll cut it out now.
Okay, that's it. First, I'm prepared to go as regards to sanding and shaping down. We've more or less uh, accomplished what we're after. It's only rough fence panelling wood at the end of the day, so you're never going to get anything too fantastic. But as you can see, we've got our three butterflies. And these are to go up in the garden, and they will be just, just flying around like so. So it doesn't have to be too fantastic. Now they did have tails on at the end of the day. I'll call it a tail. But the final one broke off. So in the end I just I just broke off all of them. It didn't really matter. Right, painting. Simple painter's touch. I'm just gonna use every colour available to me, and I've got quite a few. And just fill them all in randomly, obviously match them at either side. And then we'll sand it down. I was going to paint them black, but I'm just going to put linseed oil on. Because I want people to see that they are made of wood. And then we'll uh, we'll get up on the fence and see what we've ended up with. So let's start throwing some of this paint on. And we'll see... Right, we've painted them down. It's going to give it a light sanding over. Just to make them a little bit crispier. Now, originally, I was going to paint these black. And use a black screw to go in the centre. To attach them to the fencing panels or wherever you're going to put them. But I'm going to leave them, I'm going to leave them all wood. I'm quite happy with that. And we'll work out how to attach them later. It might just be a simple pinhole through the middle. Uh, or screw or anything to be honest now originally they did have a little is it antennas coming out but they broke off and I lost the tail but I'm just going to leave them like this and that will do for me so let's get some sand in we'll apply the linseed oil and this little project will be finished Okay, that's sanded down nicely. We've not had any disasters. Everything stayed in place. Because this is the fence panel in wood, it's already been treated to go outside. Tanalyzed, pressurized. There'll be all sorts of chemicals pumped into this. So just make sure you wear your mask because you don't want to be breathing any of this stuff in that's coated in chemicals. So what I'm going to do now to finish this off Linseed oil, give it a nice coating over all the sides and everything. In fact, we'll do the full lot. And once it's dried out, we'll work out how we're going to attach it to the fence. It might just be a simple look on the back or anything. That's up for you guys to work out. So for now, let's just throw our linseed oil on. Like so. You can see how that's darking down straight away. This wood will soak it up lovely. So I'll continue with this. Like I say, just get it on. There's no big uh, concerns about it. Get down the sides. You'll see the difference on the sides with this linseed oil, I must admit. You'll see how dark that's going to go. And then we'll give it a wipe over with a cloth. And I'll come back when this is dry. Okay, the linseed oil is nicely dry now. And that's us finished with these. 
8 by 6 roughly butterflies made out of scrap wood fence panelling 1, 2, 3 let's go and find somewhere to put them <laughs> 